Hello and welcome to ALW Research Team. Today we're on the Hull and Barnsley Railway and we're visiting three railway tunnels and this magnificent three arch viaduct. For the first tunnel, please see episode 4, link in the description box. Let's go. Right viewers, we're just coming up to the first tunnel along this section. Uh, that way is South Cave Station. Druton's tunnel is behind us. We're just going to have a look at this tunnel first. This is Weedley Tunnel near Weedley Springs. Weedley Tunnel is 132 yards or 121 metres long and carries a curvature throughout. Access is unfortunately not available to the public and we are just visiting this tunnel from the eastern portal. The west portal of Weedley Tunnel can be seen here in the centre of the screen. Keep watching as we have better luck with Sugarloaf Tunnel and we get the chance to see a three arch viaduct on our journey. can see some Hull and Barnsley um, boundary markers just in the tree line there. Can you see those viewers? The boundary markers there look just in the tree line. I'm just back from the railway railway days. We're just gonna have a look. Wheatley Tunnel now. Got a similar layout to Druton's Tunnel. This tunnel is much shorter, uh, just in the cutting. We've got some uh, top bricks there that have fallen off somewhere, probably up there and they've made their way down over the years. And this is Weedley Tunnel on the former Hull and Barnsley line. Only a short tunnel as I say, but here we are. Okay, yeah, we've got a selection of old railway sleepers there. You see those viewers? This tunnel has a gentle curve through it, all the way through to the other side where there's a short section of outside before it gets to South Cave Railway Station. And up there we've got an old hangar, just there, an old telegraph wire hangar, just in the architecture of this double track tunnel and got the keystone there typical keystone of this era so that was the fantastic um, short Weedley tunnel near Weedley Springs which are just over there and we're just making our way to Sugarloaf Tunnel now, which is further down this track bed. So I'm just on the track bed between Sugarloaf and Weedley Tunnels, Little Wheaton that way, South Cave Station that way, and just in the woods here, we've just spotted two signal posts. Here, the bolts have been 
bolts have been undone when they've removed the signals from the top but these signal posts are just still here from the railway days these would have been stripped out when the railway was stripped out in the early 1960s hey viewers we're just outside Sugarloaf Tunnel and the viaduct just over there about 500 yards away and we've just seen all these well there's an indent there's a cut there's a cut out here Paul there's a cut yeah and it's look, what looked like there's some steps or would have been original steps wow because he would have come down from yeah he wouldn't have walked on the track bed would he the no. signal man no. changing over so we think I'll try and put an old picture up but just down there is the arches and the Sugarloaf Tunnel there's just a pile of bricks and they look the road and the same type of bricks that we saw in Druton's Tunnel so they're the same build era uh, there's concrete there's a lot of bricks here uh, there's bits of wood and there's an indent in the cutting where they've dug it out to fit something in and Paul seems to think there's steps there that have been overgrown coming down there and we think this was the signal box for this area because there was one here and there's also a round concrete structure here we think was like a drain like a runoff drain um, earlier on Harry and I did find a drain in that bank and it was a similar concrete structure so we think this was the signal box right here we're working our way down now to Weedley Tunnel and there was a nice three arch viaduct just before it um, the the wall of the viaducts has been removed uh, I don't know why it has I've reclaimed the bricks for somewhere else uh, and two of the arches you can't actually make out but I assure you there is three arches uh, I'll try and put a old photograph up which was taken about here and it's got uh, a push pull loco where the actual train driver sat at the front in a modified cab uh, and the fireman and the actual steam loco uh, looked after the engine and there was a little sign down here somewhere but I can't make out what it said on the photograph um, so if any of you lovely lovely viewers know what the sign would have said and what it was for uh, please leave a comment but for now here's the beauty of the three arch viaduct I came down here about 18 months ago with uh, exploring Dave and uh, had a good look around that's a beautiful viaduct there in a sad state of repair now it would have been nice if that had been kept in use unfortunately it's just decaying away with the rest of the railway now we are approaching Sugarloaf Tunnel now see you again the top of the parapet it's been removed for some reason uh, the bricks have been removed and reclaimed and reused somewhere else now looks like there's a gap in the fence here so in we go folks we get another last view of the three arch viaduct there a beautiful viaduct it is as well very old electrical cable in there now this sugarloaf tunnel um, 
this little craps here. I remember this from when I was about eight years old, when my father brought me down here to look at this tunnel. So you'd see little craps like this and think, oh, that's recent, that's happened recently. It's been like that for 30 years. We've got one of the first refuges here of this short tunnel. Just there. We can feel it banking up now towards Druton's tunnel, which is a couple of hundred metres beyond this end of the tunnel. There already is a substantial amount of backfill in here. Uh, the Weedley and Sugarloaf Tunnel don't have any vents because they're only short. You can see one of the recesses there, almost completely filled in. As this level gets higher and higher. Yeah, we can see the the mud's already started seeping in. You can see where it's dried and broken away there. And we're actually on the start of the landfill. I'll show you on some drone footage the extent of the backfill. Sugarloaf's eastern tunnel portal can be seen here, slowly being buried in the former Ripplingham Quarry, operated by Stoneledge Plant and Transport Limited, which is licensed here to operate as an inert landfill site. Look, they've put in here, we can see there the, the arch lining is starting to fail. Parts of it have come out and there's full bricks fallen and landed in the mud. We'll go a little further, so this isn't too bad at this point, mud wise. But you can see there the recess has been almost completely filled in. I just want to show you the extent of the backfill here, it's quite something. that totally filled in tunnel entrance We've got a stair foot brick down there some more rubble that someone's rolled down sadly this railway tunnel will be no more soon It'll be completely filled in I've seen here viewers at either side there's bricks missing where there's been wooden indents to carry either signal in or telephone cable in and they go all the way along this is unique to this tunnel I didn't see it in Druton's or the Weedley tunnel just this one Right there, the wood is almost completely rotted away now. So I'm just making my way back through Sugarloaf Tunnel now. There's a huge section of the brickwork has fallen out there. Uh, and that rubble will now be buried underneath here. Totally buried. Several sections of brickwork have collapsed. Here. I don't think this tunnel will be left here much longer. It's such a shame that these heritage railway structures are being destroyed by something as simple as filling it in with mud and um, backwash from a quarry. It's so sad that that's been allowed to happen because these structures really are important and they shouldn't be forgotten. 
but eventually they will be. And that is the reason, that is the reason why I do this channel. So I want to document real history that's been deleted by the movement of time itself. So give it 10 years, this tunnel might be collapsed and filled in and gone forever. But for now, it'll be on YouTube right here at ALW Research Team. So if you haven't already, please press that subscribe button and you'll receive new videos every Thursday at 4pm UK time. But for now, thank you very much for watching this ALW Research Team video of the Hull and Barnsley Railway. Next episode coming on Thursday at 4pm. Bye bye for now. Looking